All right, so guys, so I'm just in the elevator at the moment. I thought I'd just stretch my legs and uh, go for a little walk while I do this little video. Uh, I am at work at the moment um, and I do have a mask on. Um, to be honest, I don't have the mask on as tight as I'd like and as tight as I should have it on, but it is on and um, there's no one around me, so um, I don't have it sort of attached properly. Um, but it is providing quite decent filtration as you can see when I'm inhaling the mask moves and so forth. So anyways, um, day 400, wow. Day 400, that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed, I'm pretty excited. And uh, you know, it is, what time is it? It's, it's 4 a.m. at the moment and I am on a night shift. Um, yes, I'm walking in a holes of an office. Um, so I'm not working clinical at the moment. I am working in a call center. Um, chatting to people with concerns and uh, stresses in regards to their clinical symptoms of COVID-19. Um, I've been doing it for the past four days and um, you know, getting back into shift work is not always easy for me, but um, it, it's not too bad because you know, I most of my life I've been doing shift work um, and that's kind of what I'm used to. So slowly getting back in the swing of things after, you know, I'm not doing shift work for a little while, but I don't mind it at all. Um, plus it's also nice in a pocket as well, so that's always good. Back to the pull-up side of things. Um, how am I feeling? Well, last night, um, well, yesterday morning, yesterday, I only had about five hours, five hours of sleep, so I'm really tired at the moment. Um, I think today I'll have a little bit more sleep. I will make sure I go to bed earlier today and wake up a little bit later um, or not too late actually because it's my wife's birthday and I do want to hang out with her and the kids and stuff like that so I wake up probably <laughs> I don't know around two o'clock maximum of three o'clock I don't really want to wake up at three o'clock um, so yeah uh, anyways sleep is super important um, and I will try and get some today um, in order to A, feel more energized for my shift later on tonight and B, be able to do my pull-ups without too much concern or effort. Um, you'll see in the video, you just uh, when I um, shoot forward towards it, I did my pull-ups uh, today uh, when I wake up and I was able to um, do 25 in a row with, with not any significant issue. Um, I'm just going to push the elevator go back upstairs. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, and I feel as though um, having little breaks between maximal efforts and um, also being cool um, throughout the day makes a massive difference with me and my ability to perform um, you know, my optimal level and get maximal efforts and stuff like that. Anyways, check out the vid, peace. Yeah. All right, just quickly, um, before the next little video of me talking, um, heads up, this is gonna be a lot of talking in this video. I'm talking and rambling total jargon. Um, I've just finished a night shift and I just wanna see what I'm gonna talk about. And it's always interesting to see what delusional people like to blabber on about. So um, please forgive me if this is um, a bit crazy and, um, or if you like it, let me know, like, I don't know. Um, I'm, I, I don't mind sharing stuff about me and uh, I don't mind hearing stuff about you so give me a shot, give me a whirl, tell me what you want. Alright guys, what's up? Um, I did a little voiceover before, this is my second part to the voiceover itself. Voiceover? No, totally wrong. Uh, just talking video. Um, delusional as anything, I've just finished my 10 hour night shift. Um, heading home now, uh, wife's birthday, trying to get home as soon as I can. Thought I'd throw in a little video right now as well. Um, and I, essentially I want to see what I'm talking about when I'm delusional after a night shift and see if anything will make sense after you know, I rewatch this later on um, down the track. Um, so I just want to really, really fast want to talk about some, I don't know, anything, anything. Let's talk about something. All right, so. What was my, I'm gonna talk about me, like, and then, you know, throw your comments in and 
tell me about you. Um, so, topic today is is essentially um, cars. Uh, what was my first car? What was my second car? What was my favourite car? Blah blah blah. Um, first car I ever um, purchased. Um, well, not purchased. Was given to me. You know, growing up as a kid was a. Um, I don't know if other countries have it, but in Australia it was a Ford um, XF Fairmont Gear. So, you know, it was a 1984, 1988 um, model. And this was like the bomb. This this car, seriously, uh, was so good. It had a digital um, speedo. It had a digital tachometer. It uh, had really good air conditioning. Uh, had power steering. It's... Uh, what else did I have? It, it, was, it was rear wheel drive, so that was always fun, fun uh, during the wet. Um, there's a, a six cylinder vehicle. Um, it, it was quite luxury for, you know, for its time. And um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed driving around that car um, until I eventually, you know, we, we sold it. And um, the next car from there, I had a Honda Civic, a um, ED6. Um, that was a cool little car. It was a carbureted. Uh, the Ford was an EFI as well, so electronic fuel injection. Uh, the Honda Civic was a um, dual carb. Uh, it was good fun. Um, didn't have a lot of power. Handling wasn't the best. It was a, the year of uh, make for the car was 1989. Um, I I was. That was weird. It was seriously random. Dude was just marching uh, down the main road just now. So weird. <laughs> Gosh, they're all out today. Well, there's one person. Anyways, um, the yeah, the Honda Civic. I did up and did a few things to it. Made it all funky and stuff. Next car after that was a um, 1994 Honda Accord. Um, I don't even know what year I purchased this. I reckon it was like um, in 2000 and maybe. Five or 2006 I purchased this car 1994 Honda Civic um, bloody uh, sorry Honda Accord VTI it was a great car um, I did a few modifications to it didn't make it go much quicker um, did an exhaust and stuff like that intake um, the cool thing about it was that I um, put a body kit on it it was lowered it was dumped and it was it handled quite well actually um, and eventually I sold it to upgrade or across and you know I cried a little bit when I upgraded it um, have you ever cried when selling your car I don't know um, so after that I got myself a Honda once again another Honda I got a Honda Prelude um, a 1997 uh, Honda Prelude VTI which had less than a hundred thousand kilometers on it which is quite good for its year um, I purchased that car I think maybe 2008 something like that um, or maybe even later than that I don't know um, and that was a great car um, really enjoyed this car I, I did modify it quite heavily um, I installed a um, a cat back ex no no I'm lying this is a full headers back exhaust so I had a um, and some ceramic headers into a high flow cat across into a customized uh, mandrel bent exhaust. I had um, coilovers all around, had a rear sway bar. Um, not sure if I did a front sway bar as well, but um, had uh, front and rear strut braces as well. Um, and yeah, it, it was uh, relatively well modded. Um, it was uh, tuned as well, so. Uh, just a simple tune with a um, Apex a VAFC. Um, no longer do people really use those um, Apex VAFCs. They just um, do piggybacks and, well, not piggybacks. They just mod the ECUs now with chips and then mod them. Um, that's and, and there's a few other mods to it as well, like um, visually aesthetic mods, which I did to it. Um, and uh, then eventually I sold it in 2000 and uh, what year are we in? 2020 I reckon I sold it. Um, nope, nope. 2018 or 2019 I sold it. Maybe 2018. And then I got this car which is my Subaru LeVorg GTS which is a 2 litre boxer engine. Um, 
modifications which I've done to it isn't too much. I've just uh, put an aftermarket, um, not after, it's just a panel filter. Um, I've got a STI uh, front strut race, um, and that's really it. I've got some STI wheels for it, but I haven't changed my tires over yet. Uh, when I change my tires, I'll replace them with uh, the new rims as well. Um, don't really need to lower it because it's low enough for me. Um, though the suspension in this car is pathetic. Uh, so bad, worst suspension I've ever had in a car. Um, probably as, as useless as the suspension in the XF uh, Fairmont gear. Um, I do and I am considering putting exhaust on it as well as a tune but it might be a bit of money which I don't really want to waste on that so we'll see how we go. I might do some basic um, visual modifications and uh, make it pretty and stuff like that but that's about it. And as, uh, tell me about your cars and um, you know what you've done to them and what you haven't done. Are you into cars? If not, um, what other cool things are you into? You know, um, yeah, hit me up. Let me know. I'm always interested to see what other people are into and what they've done in their life and stuff. So yeah, peace. Thanks. Boop. All right. So I hope you have listened this far throughout the video itself. It is a long one. I am talking absolute blah 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 um yeah if this is bad tell me um it has gone longer than i normally would go for my videos but uh, hey why not and uh, a little bit more about me i guess and about my cars and uh what i've uh, driven in the past and uh yeah that's all uh thanks again for watching um and peace out guys day 400 done and dusted